Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Feng from Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Dong Jiong from China. Dong Jiong to serve level play. The final of the men's event here. Feng Pemadi, seeded number two against Dong John, who seeded five. And Dong John actually came through the top half of the draw after the number one seed, Sun Jun, withdrew on the eve of the tournament, injured. But uh, he has been playing exceptionally well, and he's no stranger to this particular tournament, having it won on three previous occasions, the China Open. Uh, two, sorry, he was third in uh, Dalian in 1994, but he won it in 95 in Chengdu and then in 97 in Shanghai. And he's up against Feng Pamadi, who won the China Open in Dongguan in 96. Service over. And uh, Feng Pamadi's had a wonderful year. Oldest player still playing at this level of singles, Feng Pamadi, 31 years of age. He's won three events this year, starting with the Korean Open back in January, and it was runner-up to Sun Jun at the World Championships. Both play a very similar style, both uh, very economical with their power. If they don't smash unless they reckon they've got a good chance, although Dong John goes there, a bit of a softener. But they love their court craft. Pomadi in two minds One with that love. shot deep to the baseline. <laughs> well, that time, Pomadi guess One. right. Formerly Indonesian, transferred uh, his allegiance nationality to Chinese Taipei when he realized he was getting a bit too old but uh, that's typical of Dong John he'd rather win it with finesse than power totally wrong footing Pamadi in there might take a little while to start reading each other's game but at the risk of being totally wrong I think this one could be a long match Great deception again from Dong John. So Dong John made very quick work of Xia Jinthe, who is the one of the rising stars in Chinese badminton in the semi-finals, 15-11-15-4. Uh, he was in wonderful touch. Love and Hong Pamadi disposed of Xiao Hui, 15-10-15-7. A bit of a hiccup in the quarter-finals against the Chinese player Chen Gang lost the first game to 15 but then won the second to 15 love before winning it eventually 15 10 in the third and that was long One, but uh, by a, a fraction <laughs> well Dong John is the first player I've seen Two, actually about a One. smash so early on and gets through the defences of Fung Pamadi. Pamadi's defensive wall has been absolutely brilliant. Service over. Oh, he just looks up. One, two. Oh, lost that in the lights overhead. <laughs> wide. That is over. Two, one. Dong John, a very deceptive mover around the court. He's very light on his feet. Good anticipation. And uh, Fung Pamadi was really making him go to all four corners of the court. Three, one. Great ability on the smash. 
was Dong John, silver medalist at the uh, last Olympics in Atlanta, losing to the Dane Paul Eric Hoyer Larson. Yes, it was just wrong foot after wrong foot. Both of them trying to catch out. That was a great shot. Even under pressure, Dong John was thinking. Five, Had one. serious knee problems after Atlanta and that dropped him down the rankings. It really suffered and uh, he just now seems to be coming back into form. In fact, he won the National Games recently. Oh, had a chance. That is over. But could you believe that One. defensive work from Pomadi angling his smash across the backhand and it was coming. Dong John getting it back time and time again. Fantastic. That is over. Five. One. This against one of the best defences in the business. And again, Six, and he's one. catching Pomadi on the forehand side with consistency. That Lovely touch, over. not one. an easy shot high Six. on the backhand side. Just wide. Over, six, one. Well, change of angle there. Seven, one. All wrist, it's amazing the speed he generates with a racket head. It's just a flick of the wrist that was. Dong John might end up making me eat my words. I mean, 8 1. He carries on like that. Can he keep it up, though? I can't believe Pomadi is missing so many of these smashes. I mean, there he was right. He was three-quarter court, and it just went straight through him. Pomadi, I think he thought it was going to catch the top of the tape. But that's just how precise these smashes are. Service over. One. Nine. Uh, it'd be a huge roar if Dong John does take it. He, he is a local Beijing boy. Service over. Nine. Subtly one. mixed in with the, the power. Pomadi is just not reading Don John at all. Oh, 
on the line. I'm not sure Dong John needed to play that wide forehand either. It looks as though that was out. Brilliant. Dong John is dictating the entire course of these rallies. And for all his clever court craft, Pomadi just is having to play on the defensive the whole time. Well, that's a bit more like it, but it's a rarity. 112 he is in the first game. Blistering start from Dong John. worked time and time again for him straight down the forehand side he obviously knows something about Pomadi's game that uh, none of Pomadi's previous rivals here has been able to fathom out that is over one two that's important for Pomadi to actually get into this game and start winning a few of these close rallies. I think he's lost the first game, that's gone. Uh, well played. The lift was just a little bit too short. It enabled Pomadi to get underneath it and hit that smash. Service over. Two, two. Good net flick. By Dong John. 12-2. First game. series of wonderful net shots keeping the shuttle so tight to the net and look where Pomadi had to play that one way down just about uh, two feet off the floor Again, Pomadi, I'm sure, would have won that rally against most other players. But Dong John's defence, his quickness around the court, uh, I haven't seen him this sharp for a long, long while. Fantastic shot. Well, just put yourself in Pomadi's shoes. Totally and utterly wrong footed. And what a way to bring up the first game. I can't believe it. 15 2, was it? 15 2. Goodness me. And uh, both of them were in great form up until this point. And I thought this was uh, going to be a match of uh, two very similar styles, but not a bit of it. Dong John is playing as uh, well as he did back in 96 when he won the silver medal in Atlanta.